Gordon was resting in a siding. Sometimes, he thought, it's really tiring to be such a large and splendid engine. One does have to keep up appearances, so... Beep, 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 beep. Hello, fat face, whistled Henry. What cheeks, muttered Gordon. That Henry is too big for his wheels. Fancy speaking to me like that. Me, who has never had an accident. Aren't jammed whistles and burst safety valves accidents? Asked Percy innocently. No, indeed. High spirits might happen to any engine. But to come off the rails like Henry did, well, I ask you, is it right? Is it decent? Then it was Henry's turn to take the express. Gordon watched him getting ready. Be careful, Henry. You're not pulling the flying kipper now. Mind you, keep on the rails today. Henry went off in a huff, and Gordon yawned and went to sleep. But not for long. Wake up, Gordon, said his driver. A special train's coming, and where to pull it? Is it coaches or trucks? Trucks, said his driver. Trucks, said Gordon. Puh! Gordon's fire was slow to start, so Edward had to push Gordon to the turntable to get him facing the right way. I won't go! I won't go! grumbled Gordon. Don't be silly, don't be silly, puffed Edward. At last Gordon was on the turntable. The movement had shaken his fire. It was now burning nicely and making steam. Gordon was cross and didn't care what he did. He waited till the table was halfway round. I'll show them, I'll show them, he hissed. He moved slowly forward to jam the table, but he couldn't stop himself and slithered into a ditch. Ooh, she hissed. Get me out! Get me out! Not a hope, said his driver and fireman. You're stuck, you silly great engine. Don't you understand that? They telephoned the fat controller. So Gordon didn't want to take the special train and ran into a ditch. What's that you say? The special's waiting? Tell Edward to take it, please. And Gordon? Oh, leave him where he is. We haven't time to bother with him now. <laughs> On the other side of the ditch, some little boys were chattering. Cool, doesn't he look silly? They'll never get him out. They began to sing. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch all on a Monday morning. Gordon lay in the ditch all day. Oh dear, he thought, I shall never get out. But that evening they lifted Gordon and made a road of sleepers under his wheels to keep him from the mud. Strong ropes were fastened to his back end, and James and Henry, pulling hard, managed to bring him to safety. Gordon crawled home, a sadder and wiser engine.